What's up, douches? Uh, I'm not done yet. I, I'm actually taking my time, my paperwork, and making sure, you know, that old saying, measure twice, cut once. Um, so I'm hoping to have that done here in an hour or so. I'm about, like, I'm, it's done. I'm just verifying everything and making sure, because I don't want to, I want to be done once I submit it. And then everything can be nice and A-OK, -okay and we're just going to role play it as this past year since last government shutdown was some kind of a last October when Horfany was like, my family needs you to have a job. We're going to play that from then till now as some kind of an alternate reality like Final Fantasy X-2 that, that doesn't really exist if you defeat Penance or whatever that is. And I'm going to consider defeating Penance in real life being getting a level three certification, like a CISP or a CASP or a CISA, something I should have gotten 10 years ago, but to be quite honest, I just got wrapped up doing other things and I don't want it to come out wrong. Not that I don't care. I didn't understand until about now how it was affecting my career. Like, True, there's a lot of people with extra certs who are considered paper tigers. At the same time, if you're like really good, why don't you have one of those certs? So, double-edged sword. Um, I can probably say that, look, Horfany probably, does, she does these things on purpose where she thinks she's like, she thinks she's like controlling me. And she thinks, she's like, I know, I'll do this whore show variety show and then he'll yell at everyone and then i'll tell them in advance he's gonna yell at them and they'll get such a great deal having a star like me come on their show and they'll let him yell at me and then everyone will see his youtube channel and they'll figure it out and i won't have to take responsibility for anything because that's how her brain works i'm super duper mad that she did any kind of smut at all like that's it that's what it comes down to Stealing money, sure. That's I'm super pissed off about it. that. Money can be replaced. I'm suing her ass and all that bullshit. But like, she can't unbe a smut actress. She actually thought that was a good idea. It was a therapy. I stopped drinking. Why were you bothering me since 2018? And you stopped drinking in 2024. I stopped drinking like February, March of 2018. Like. When I went to the second night for freedom and I got super drunk and I was like, let me start sobering up and drink some coffee. And that douchey Finkelman loser tried to like, dude, I said, do you know what kind of coffee this is? And the fucker tried to like make a pass at me. And I was like, I'm done drinking. I'm done drinking. I mean, I drink every now and then, but like not to the same extent. Like basically I, I was like, I was drinking with my uncle at night for freedom before night for freedom one. And then I was like, well, it's a party. And I saw that hot Asian bitch. And I was like, well, might as well keep drinking. It's not my fault she just kept on drinking the whole time. Like, probably what you should have done was when you when you realized that it was a bad idea to try and make me jealous in 2018, you should have probably stopped drinking then. No, you stopped drinking like two months ago after the shit hit the fan. PDK, Snow PDK. All that bullshit. Why are you a smart actress? I don't want to deal with that at all. At all. I went to therapy. For what? You stole my money and my niece's money and you went to therapy and you expect some kind of a standing ovation for going to therapy? What has going to therapy done for solving the problems you've created? It's probably made more problems and now everyone is like, we thought Tiffany was a whore and she was going to do all these whore things on camera. Since when is she not being a whore? She hung out with Babyface. What you should be doing, if you're new to my channel, is looking up Shadowheart Bears or whatever it's called, and all that other bullshit. I might, I might make some of those when I'm done, I, done with my pa paperwork. But who are we kidding? You all just want to see me beat Dark Yojimbo. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. I don't know. You could always do it yourself, but who are we kidding? It's Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X-2 is a stain on humanity. But, essentially, while I was taking a shit, and I, 
I was eating spice and taking a shit and all that bullshit. What was I talking about? And I realized, I noticed, oh, look at this. Someone sent me an hour ago. How could I miss it? Hello, bride to be. No need to reply. Step into a world of Azazi. Designed in, in LA. Could have fucking could have fucking fooled me. Some LA bullshit. Look. I should have never done the pro but like going to Korea wasn't even the issue. I should have just kept working any of the two jobs I had last year. Not done all the job hopping around that I did this year still could have gone to Korea and just used vacation time came back and been working I learned what not to do this year that's fine it's just a giant paperwork blunder it's being fixed it's not a big deal now Horfany I guarantee you that what happened was she went into debt renting out her shitty trombone section. So then, you know how like an outlaw star, when like Gene Starwind is like, oh, I know Fred Lowe has a thing for me, so whenever I need money, I'll go hang out with him and shit like that. He basically does, like, she did that to Kevin Nish because she went into debt making music about me. That's not my fault. Then. Instead, like, you're so retarded. Like, the problem is that you do shit like this. Like, you should have just come to the, if you would have came to the brunch. January, like, I met her January 20th. 2018, and the world changed, the stars aligned, the world changed forever for her. And the next day, January 21st, 2018, I went to the brunch, expecting to see the cute Asian girl again, and instead, there was some douchey old Asian guy who was bothering me, and I thought I was being polite, and just never had to see that asshole again. Guess I'll see the Asian bitch at the next one. I don't care at this point because you're not even the same little Asian bitch like that was a cute little Asian bitch with short hair who was prude and didn't want to talk and was shy and now you're some loud mouth drunk alcoholic who's been groped by everyone and pimped out to baby face and whether she's acting or not seems to be excited about being a smut actress and thinks she's going to get fifth place in some bullshit award she MCs. I don't need you in my life like, I don't need to beat Final Fantasy X, all the extra monsters, but I probably will. Right? Because that's something I want to do. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. In 2018, when you were hot, you should have just said something. You didn't want to. In 2022, when you got my attention and slid into my DMs, you should have said something. In 2023, after you stole the money, you said you'd be back in April and you would explain everything. It's twenty. It's 2024, almost 2025. You're literally geriatric at this point in time. Do you expect me to give a fuck about anything you have going on? The only reason why you're not being sued at the moment is because I have other things going on. This is so bullshit. Like, she admitted to stealing. She's basically told all these losers that she stole. And they're like, what do we do? I don't know. Do you want to be the guest on my podcast? Because she's retarded. She's in debt. All of these assholes are in debt. Do you think there's any money on having a YouTube channel? Not much. Even by Korean standards, it's not much. You have to make you, you have to make like millions of views to make any money. And even then, it's all going to go to your management team. It's bullshit. She's not rich at all. That's why she steals from children. 
Okay, she's not famous. That's why she buys her views. I'll be Final Fantasy X later.